Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is a little potato. And here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Myriad's Renaissance, which just might be the worst titled strategy game that I've checked out recently, uh, but probably has the most interesting concept. Anyway, literally, as you can kind of see from the background art, um, this is kind of like a city builder in the sky, kind of. Um, it's really, really interesting. Um, let's get a let's get a faction sorted. Um, we'll go for, yeah, we're going to be called the Potato Eyes. We're going to turn off the tutorial and we're going to create a faction and we're going to see what this game has in store. As ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is going on um, and hopefully we're going to be able to, to take this game for a little bit of a uh, of a ride here. Uh, right, so it's kind of like a grand strategy game, but it's also kind of like a, a, a micro city builder and it's actually very, very interesting as a concept, as I've already said. Right, so the Potato Whites um, were a power Powerful and proud empire, our greatness only tainted by chain, our arch enemy. Um, we were splitting the world, blah blah blah. Then the great burst occurred. The world isn't as we used to know. Now it is nothing more than a myriad of shards, islands floating in a horizonless sky. Quite, and we're going to get to that. Uh, in fact, we're going to get to it right now. So, um, this is this is our world. This is our world. It ain't much, but it's but it's something. And you'll note, by the way, that the entirety. The entirety of the world is, I mean, is on these little, is on these little islands, these little archipelago sort of island things. It's very, very cool indeed. Um, right, so the first thing that we need to do is build our, I guess, town center, which is what I will do. Very, very simple to do. And this is where, I guess, the vast bulk of all of our commerce and all of our, all of our, uh, all of our money will be made, all of our populace will live. Anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit. There's a lot happening on screen at the moment, and I want to try and cover as much as I possibly can. I also want to see, I, I don't think I can rename the, I don't think I can rename my city, which is a terrible, terrible shame. The Potato Whites are going to have to have to settle for the city of Ceredon. Anyway, uh, so on a micro level, we've got this and we can actually build a whole bunch of buildings. If we go into here, for example, um, we can get uh, we can get a sawmill, which we can which we can utilize, although the sawmill has to be built on uh, the on the tree tiles. That's fine. Uh, we can also get a mine and we can build mines on build mines on the mountain tiles here and we can also build farms which is what we're going to do uh, pretty much straight off the bat let's get a farm built in the first instance now um each and every each and every city that you have will have a certain i guess number of production points and we'll cover them very very briefly but nothing really matters i guess in the grand scheme of things at this present moment because it's all it's all so abstract anyway um the market produces food production and gold the market is the the foundational uh, the foundational stone for our city six food 10 production and 145 coins per turn um we've also got a wharf and a dock here and it allows us to recruit regiments of militiamen again we'll we'll get to that in a little bit uh, it's also worth noting, if we go into this little tab over here, you can see what our population is. Population does matter. We've got seven We've got seven houses available at the moment. We don't have anyone that's homeless, and we've got one person that is available to work, which is pretty fantastic if I do indeed say so. Uh, so that's all looking good. And we shall we shall get to we shall get to expanding the town over the course of the next couple of turns. It's worth noting, by the way, that I've just built the farm. Uh, we've got twenty missing production. As you can see, this town produces ten production a turn. So we're going to be able to we're going to be able to get more. Uh, we're going to be able to get this over the course of two turns. So to so to speak, we're all we're all good. Anyway, there's some new quests available, and we will get to the quests in just a second. Uh, we got a production queue over here. What else have we got going on? We got a research tech tree, which again we are going to start exploring uh, very very shortly. In fact, uh, which is which is marvelous. And then we also have uh, a quest a quest here. Right, um, build a farm. Well, whoops, I maybe prejudged that a little bit. Maybe I should um, maybe I should cancel that and then just rebuild just to make sure that the game. The game gives me what I'm after. But anyway, quests are going to help guide us in terms of what we are going to do. Now, so far, so normal, right? I mean, this is, I mean, it's a bit of a wacky city builder, but, you know, it's a city builder nonetheless. Uh, I should say, by the way, that the chains that connect our current little island, this is not the, this is not necessarily the end state for how this island is going to look. When we have the ability, hopefully, hopefully, uh, to build a shipyard and build a certain type of ship, we should be able to tug... We should be able to tug all of these little floating islands in into our sort of central our central island area and we should be able to expand our island 
uh, that way. Anyway, that's definitely what we're going to be trying to do. Uh, whether or not we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to succeed in that uh, in that ambition, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so far so good. This is this is what's happening. We've got a whole bunch of buildings that we can build. We've got uh, exploitation buildings. We've got military buildings, and then we've also got general buildings as well. We've got a fortress, which is apparently not available. Palace. Uh, the shipyard is available uh, in the demo, and we're going to be building that pretty darn soon, um, which is interesting. Um, also, we can build a paved square, which is, yeah, turn a forest or wetland into a paved square, provides one additional housing spot. We can do that as well. Uh, plus, we have the ability to build ships, but we can't build ships until we get a shipyard. So anyway, what do we need ships for? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to hop out into into the map view, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, truly truly phenomenal um this is where our this is where our, our current city is we've actually got ourselves we've actually got ourselves a galleon at the moment uh which is fine and we've got a couple of militiamen actually on the galleon we can recruit more militiamen to give the galleon more uh more strength it is going to cost us money per turn in order to hire more militiamen as you kind of anticipate uh but they will allow the boat to be to be stronger and better and cooler looking very, very, very much cooler looking. Uh, but for now, that ain't that ain't too that ain't too important. Anyway, a couple of things that we need to consider, like straight away. First of all, these little um, these little areas over here. Uh, I didn't really want to fight you, but I will fight you in just a sec. Um, this little these these little what are they orb thing globe things? I don't know. Anyway, these things can be attacked, and if we attack these, then we're able to get science. It's very, very simple. Um, we're going to start uh, an engagement. It's going to take two turns or so. That's fine. There's also there's also some uh, some gates over here. What are they called? Straits? They're called straits. Anyway, we need to attack both of these straits in order to get through because for now we're sort of trapped and chained in this little area. Get it? Chained? <laughs> I know. We'll get we'll get to that later. But anyway, we definitely need to explore and this boat is our is our way to explore. Anyway, uh, once we've conducted pretty much everything that we need to, uh, we can hop on over into the next turn. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting happening on turn two. We've got uh, 10 remaining production on the farm before uh, it's done. There is also a little bit of a threat meter um, up here. This is kind of noteworthy in terms of the fact that as we build up threat, then we're going to get attacked by a uh, chain or whatever, whatever the big, the big bad boss is in this game. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know the lore. I really, I really don't know the lore. Um, also, yeah, island size is 13. We can have a maximum size of 15. Uh, so yeah, there is definitely the, the opportunity to rein in more of these little islands, and we will we will get to we will get to doing that hopefully. Right. So quest wise, what do we got? Using one of your galleons, uh, loot a lost secret and get science. I'm going to accept that because there's absolutely no reason not to. Uh, because I'm hopefully there. We go. We're going to be fighting with the the science people literally as we speak. Marvelous. Okay. So we're into turn three. That is fantastic. Let's go into micro mode here and see what we've got going on. Right. You have some unspent science. Fine. That's noteworthy. Uh, the production of your capital island is currently not in use. Yes, and the reason that it's not currently in use is because the farm is actually done. Let's take a little look at our quests, and we will, and we will judge. Right, build a farm. We'll take that. That's marvelous. And we'll also loot a lost secret as well. That's fine. Collect our reward, cash based, obviously. Build a sawmill on your capital island. Sawmills increase your production. Yeah, it is worth noting that this entire area is our capital island. Um, just as a sort of point of note, uh, we're going to build a sawmill. The sawmill is going to allow us to get production. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be something. It's going to take another two turns in order to complete. I don't think that that's necessarily too problematic. Your galleon is victorious, marvelous, and the building is, uh, has finished being constructed. Cool. All right, let's jump into the research tech tree. There's not much that we can research at the moment. In fact, I can categorically assure you that there is literally one thing that we can research. It's galleons healing. Uh, galleons now heal when located on an island you own. Allows you to build hospitals on any island you own. Well, we're going to get it. That's fine. And then we're going to either take, what, productivity boost, island max size, or a lighthouse. I'm not particularly bothered. I'm not particularly bothered about that at the present moment, but that's okay. Uh, right. So, you are just chilling here. Uh, should I go and take... Should I go and take out the... You know what? I think I am going to take out... Uh, yeah, let's go and take out the, the next science the next science area. There's no real priority to get that done, 
but we're we're gonna start the we're gonna start the process and we're gonna keep on checking our quests just to see how we're doing in terms of in terms of quests because it's pretty important right again i don't think there's much that we can necessarily do i do want to start thinking about where we're gonna get a shipyard because i am absolutely categorically determined that we're gonna get a shipyard very very important now as you can see Look at this. We've decided to build. We've decided to build the sawmill. The sawmill's been built. We get four production each and every turn. So that's great. We've increased our production by about 50%. It's not actually too bad. Uh, but we've also got this connection that runs between, I guess, our market, or the, the capital of the capital island, uh, all the way across to the sawmill, which I think is pretty darn cool. Right. Galleon is victorious. Great news. Your capital island has gained a new citizen. Also great news. The sawmill's been completed. Fantastic news. A new quest has been completed. Yeah, actually, let's check out the quests straight away. We'll take the rewards. Extend your capital island. Extend your capital island by adding a new shard to it. To do so, you'll need a tug. Yes, we're absolutely going to do that. Uh... Oh, we got a tug. How did we get a tug? Did we, was that the reward for something? Oh, well, anyway, this is this is great. The tug is destroyed in the process. What's What did I say our island max size was? Um, we can add this shard, maybe? We can add this shard here? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's do let's do exactly that. That's phenomenal. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so clearly something gave me a something gave me a tug. A good start. Settle and start developing your capital island having a total of 15 citizens. Sure, I'm going to accept that quest as well. No reason not to. Uh, but now we are starting to extend our buildable area, which I think is phenomenal. Right. So we're also going to go and have a little look at Oh, we should really get we should really get a shipyard right like that needs to be done uh, cartographer oh yeah that's gonna allow us to get that's gonna allow us to get the next level of research uh, in the tech tree we're gonna need to to get cartographers to unlock new eras that's fine I think for now we can we can skip the cartographer for the present moment we don't need the training camp we don't need any of that nonsense I literally just need a shipyard I think must be placed on a paved square I mean we can turn this. Turn that into a paved square. I mean, we do have the capability to get... Can I build a shipyard right here? Must be placed on a paved square. No, so we need to turn it into a paved square first. And then we can work on the next phase. Okay, it's going to take us three turns to get this paved square done. That's fine. That's fine. The reason that I'm kind of apprehensive about that, and we can toggle this, we can toggle this production queue around a little bit. Um, I think we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get this first here. Yeah, so we're gonna maybe try and yoink our, yoink our production up a little bit before we before we move on, uh, and then we'll we'll work on the paved square, and then we'll be able to get our shipyard on top of that, which I think is which I think is marvelous. Right, but in terms of quests, we're we're good, right? Uh, he says, yes, we're good. Right, research. What do we got in the research department? Productivity boost increases farms, sawmills, and mines production for each I identical adjacent building located on the same shard. Well, that's going to be hugely productive uh, for our uh, for our sawmills if we get that sorted. Plus three uh, tiles to the maximum size of your island. Any shard can be added using a tug. Yeah, thanks. Don't worry about it. Uh, allows you to build a lighthouse on any island that you own. That's good um productivity boost i think is what we're going to take at the moment lighthouse i'm not entirely sure how much utility we're going to get out of that mostly because i guess the main thrust of the the main thrust of the the tech tree is down is down through the middle but that's okay right so you are you are on 21 there we go move you over here and hopefully we should start to see we should start to see a little bit of replenishment happening over the course of the next couple of turns, uh, which is which is great, which is marvelous. Right, um, we can also yeah, so we can build a lighthouse. Each of your ship passing on this lighthouse uses one movement point instead of two. That might be nice. Alternatively, we could think about settling it. Hospital doubles the healing rates. That's going to cost us six hundred bucks to do or build a tower. Okay, whatever. You know what? We can wait until we can wait until the next turn, regardless of the situation. 
yeah, so we're going to see a little bit of healing on our Galleon. I think we're probably going to wait another turn at least before moving our Galleon on again, but we definitely want to try and break out of where we are. That's for sure. Right, a shard has been added to the capital island. Marvelous. And we will collect a reward for uh, for doing that. Build a mine on your island. Produce gold, which will allow you to maintain more troops. Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a little bit. We're going to we're gonna leave the sawmill as is in the production queue. Then I think we're going to... We're going to move to that. We still get four. We still, yeah, we still get four, but we'll see what happens when when this sawmill comes online. Um, either way, I'm, I'm not too displeased with how this is all looking. In fact, on the contrary, I think I'm, I'm actually very pleased. I just don't think there is anything to do now until the next turn, which is fine. There we go. We're up to 29. To 29 HP. Right, sawmill's been built. Let's go and take a little look at how, how things are going. Let's go and let's go and engage over here. It's gonna it's very easy to fight. Um I'm not super worried. Dock to Capital Island. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not particularly bothered. I'm not particularly bothered about that at all. Right, okay, let's end and let's see what happens. There we go. You're gonna move out slowly but surely. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get there. Right. So threat level is definitely rising. It's not hugely great. But it's not uh but it's not fatal either. Right, how much do we get? Plus one. Four plus one. Right, so how much So we get five. Five is what you're telling me, video game. So each of these sawmills produce five. So we've got twenty. So we can actually build this quite literally in two turns. So we're gonna need to queue up something else. And I think we're actually gonna queue up a no, not another farm. I'm gonna queue up another sawmill. Not enough citizens at the moment. Yeah, so that's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. We should be we should be getting um we should be getting another citizen. Yeah, plus one next turn. Yeah, so that's unfortunate that I'm not going to be able to get not going to be able to get anything additional. I mean, what about I would really really like the opportunity to get to get building like right now. Must be placed next to another paved square. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There's nothing else that we can get. The cartographer, we can't... Yeah, we can't build right now. Okay, I mean, yeah, fine. Right, well, we'll go to the next turn. We'll see what we've got in store. Right. Good stuff. And, I mean, we could build a hospital. Doubles the healing rate of all galleons in the archipelago. Heals the colony and all the buildings in the archipelago, or we could get a tower. I don't care about a tower. Right, let's go engage. Go engage here. We'll engage at the start of the turn. Check out the quest situation. Build a mine. Oh yeah, I forgot that we were needing a mine. So, do I want to build a mine first? I mean, we've got a new citizen. We've got a paved square as well. That's good to note. Uh, I'm a little bit miffed that we ended up wasting a bit of production there. What's the time frame to get a new citizen? 10 turns? So we we really do need, like, extra food, don't we? That's pretty mission critical. That is pretty mission critical. Um, I think we'll get... I think we'll get a new farm tile. I think we'll get a new farm tile. It's either that or we, we get ourselves... We get ourselves the mine right now. How much money do we get per... Her mine. I don't know what it is, but I think we should. I think we're better served getting a farm right now, even if it does sort of set us back uh, a little bit. Yeah, because we're gonna get some pretty sick adjacencies on the on the farm there, which I think is gonna be very very important. Anyway, the only reason that I'm being so sort of cautious with my uh, with my turns and with my time limit and the sort of production queue, I guess, is because I know that there is a limited a limited amount of time that we have uh, available to us. Uh, right, so the farm, we don't get the adjacency bonus. That's a bit irritating. Not the end of the world, not necessarily, but that's okay. Right, so plus one in three turns. We're going to get an additional population in three turns, which is marvelous. In fact, that is, that is grand and that is glorious. I mean... I really feel very, very aggrieved that we... I feel very, very aggrieved that we're not going to be able to utilize our production. Uh, I don't... I literally do not think that there's anything that we can that we can do. I mean, maybe, honestly, we were a bit... 
we were a bit hasty in getting that uh, getting that sawmill. Do we destroy it? Like, seriously, I actually think that legitimately that might be the play. It seems kind of crazy. I mean, we can always rebuild it. Like, we can rebuild it so darn fast, but... I just really think that it's worth cashing in on this quest pretty much as soon as we possibly can. Uh, to get more money. Aha! Marvelous. Okay, so the combat has ended over here. Uh, we do have healing, which is great. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna move. Oh my lordy. Okay, so we've stumbled upon we've stumbled upon a bad boy over here. We're gonna move right back into safety territory. Uh, we should be completing the mine next turn, which is great. Fifteen citizens, man. That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while. Uh, but we need to go and get more science. Right, you're combating me. That's that's less than ideal. You really giving me a very, very prime example video game of why we need to get ourselves a shipyard. Right. It's going to require a person, and we're going to need a person. We're going to have to wait until next turn, which is when we get that person. Literally next turn, we're going to get it. That's great. Right. Quest has been completed. Let's, let's cycle this quest out. Beautiful. What do we got? Extend the city, building a paved square on your capital island. We've actually already done that, so we'll take that right away. City's been extended. Now you have enough space to build a shipyard on a paved square. The shipyard, yep, absolutely. And we will also build a tower, uh, which is going to cost us 600 bucks. Okay, uh, let's go back out here. Let's see. We can't build a tower on the straits. We're gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win the fight against this bad boy's, against this bad boy's ship. I'm not exactly happy about it though. This is a pretty defensible position, to be honest. And I'm thinking maybe getting the tower over here is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to be done in a turn. I don't think that this takes construction from the main capital city, but there we go. Right, we do still have a bit of production queue availability at the moment. Unfortunately, uh, again, nothing that we can do until the next turn. So I think we're just going to have to suck it up. I think we're just going to have to suck it up for a turn. Right. Victory on the battlefield. Well, the the virtual battlefield. The virtual sky battlefield. Right. What do we got? Your galleon is victorious. Excellent. Yes, but let's retreat. I don't want to risk it. Or do I want to risk it? No, I don't want to risk it. There we go. Get over here. And let's start the start the healing process. Start the healing process. Let's let's unpack the feelings. Okay, and we'll we'll see what we can do. Uh, right, new citizen, that is super fantastic. Quest has been completed. Let's cycle out the quests in the first instance. Start your exploration. Yeah, we've actually already done that. We'll take the reward. Secure a neighboring archipelago by destroying the lair. Doing so will prepare for a future of colonization. Spelt with an S as opposed to a... Uh, as opposed to the alternative. Which is very interesting. Right, um, we need to nab ourselves a shipyard. That is pretty important. Let's do it. Right over there. Uh, we're going to be done in two turns, which I think is fine. That rock is coming awfully close to my to my base, but that's that's fine. Right, quests we're fine for, research we're fine for. Let's have a look. I mean, what we can always do is we can always recruit a militiaman, which is perhaps what I probably should have done. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Right, impossible to recruit in this archipelago. I'm pretty sure that's because I'm just far away. Let's go back. Let's go back over here. There we go. Can we recruit from here? We absolutely can. Um, so we're going to heal up, which is very, very important. But also, shipyard's going to be built in a turn. That's fine. Let's go into production queue, see that that's fine. And then we'll be able to recruit a militiaman here, uh, which is going to take two turns. I think that uses... If I'm not mistaken, I think that that uses... Yeah, it definitely uses, it just didn't show up whilst the production queue was open. Definitely uses uh, city, uh, city, uh, city production. So that is, that is very, very, very much worth noting. But that's pretty good, I would say, on the whole. We're going to be ready to, we're going to be ready to go in again. Let's get ourselves another one. Let's get ourselves another one. We'll queue it up. We've got plenty, plenty of residual cash. That's obviously not going to be plentiful forever, but it'll be enough for now. Right. 
shipyard is built and also a quest has been completed. Now, let's go and have a little look at our shipbuilding opportunities here. In fact, what is the quest going to tell me to do? Now that you've built a shipyard, build a settler ship. Settler ships are used to establish colonies on other archipelagos. Okay. Okay, I will build a settler ship. Do I want to build a settler ship before I build anything else? I guess probably. 48 production? Sure, we'll add that to the production queue. It's going to be done in five turns. I mean, that's it's fine, to be honest, on the, on the whole. Not too displeased with that. Uh, we get one more person in three turns. Am I really going to go for a... Am I going to go for another... Am I going to go for another farm, maybe? We have the opportunity to build a tug now as well, although we'd need to increase the maximum size of our island. But to be honest, I think at the present moment, the real limiting factor... Uh, also, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe we don't want... Maybe we don't want anyone else. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we... I'm thinking maybe we move out here. Let's do that. Um, we're at full HP, so we can definitely take... We can definitely take the fights to, to this boy over here. He's got solar panels on his roof, apparently. That's... That's trendy. Right. We're also seeing... We're also seeing the threat level increase, which is a little bit terrifying. Uh, we do have a tower here, which is great. Very, very good, in fact. But we are going to also need to think about what happens when this threat level reaches, you know, max. And it will... It will reach max. Very, very soon. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Okay, move out here, and then I think we're probably just going to attack the lair. I think, I mean, we should have enough. We should have enough, whether or not we do, will, I guess, be up for a bit of debate. Right, how long before we get an, uh, another, another person? One more turn. One more turn. We've got ten total housing spots. We've got a total population of five. I think we're going to get more food. I think we're going to get more food. Right, let's do it. Okay. Lots of stuff happening here. Right, new citizen. That's brilliant. Let's nab ourselves a farm. Brilliant. Settler ship is going to be built soon. Priorities. Priorities are probably food related. Okay, let's engage. Let's engage. Uh, we are going to win. It's just going to be... It's just going to take take time. Um, yeah, victory is pre-calculated, which I actually think is pretty darn good. Uh, I like knowing. I like knowing the result of a battle before I go into it, before I stumble into it, uh, I should say. Okay. I legitimately do not think that there is anything else that we can do on this turn, so we're going to go straight to the next one. And boom, what is this? The threat level has reached maximum, um, which is fine. Uh, what it means is that there is an enemy ship that has been dispatched from Chain's Stronghold. Uh, they will send waves of Corsairs aiming at your capital island at regular intervals. Not so much of a problem, because I actually think that we'll have plenty of time to get the ship back into, you know, back into the base area. That's fine. Chain is getting stronger. Yep, absolutely no problem at all. The farm has finished being built, and Chain has launched a major attack on my island. But because of the, I guess, the defensive location of where my uh, my island is, he's going to pass the tower anyway, which is fine. Um, you know, we're paying dearly for the price of having that tower to protect us, but at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. Um, we're going to have to... I mean, we're getting the settler ship, right? So we're getting the settler ship. We just need to make sure that the settler ship, when it leaves when it leaves the island it doesn't get waylaid by the by the the enemy ship uh also we need to look at food because i'm very very curious to see how quickly we're going to be able to get another population uh plus one in two turns that's not too shabby if i do indeed say so myself in fact that's very very good and that's going to allow us to to get that production or maybe maybe even the mine what does it give us the mine gives us 50 gold i mean it's not bad is it i don't think so Okay, uh, quest-wise, we're still not quite done with the quests, but we should be done with the battle next time. Excellent. Marvelous. Right, what's happened? Uh, settler ship has been built. Excellent. We're gonna found a new colony. We're gonna undock as well. How many turns is it gonna take to move up there? Four turns? Okay. And the galley's going to have to move back. Or the galleon's going to need to move back. That's fine. Right. Galleon's victorious. Excellent. Chain is, is on the way. 
Um, production on the capital island is not currently in use and a quest has been completed. Let's let's fix the quests. Marvelous. Right. Build a cartographer. Um, we're gonna have to tug. We're gonna have to tug a new island in. I mean, we're gonna accept both. I don't know why I'm even debating that. Uh, but we need to get. We need to get some more. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, we need to get some more. In fact, we might even have the. We might even have the ability to. Take on. Take on the chain vessel anyway. Let's go here. Let's recover. Let's recover here, and let's just chill in the straits. There we go. Move you over there. Excellent. I don't. I don't want to found. I don't want to found. Um, I don't want to find a colony. I want to find the colony over here. Yeah, we want to settle this area. I want to settle this area. Right. Production being unused is a pretty big insult to every like bone in my body. Plus one in three turns. Oh, we've got one population available. I didn't even. I didn't even realize. I didn't even put two and two together. Uh, let's see. We do want to expand the island out here. Like that's for sure. That's absolutely mission critical. But, for now, what do I want to do? I mean, we need to get the cartographer, but we need to build it on a paved square, which means that we need to expand in this direction. Obviously. Um, is actually maybe cash the best thing that we could do right now? I think we build... Okay, hold on. I don't think that's the area that we want to build it. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's build it here. Sure, let's do that. And we're still going to get another population in three turns, which is marvelous. Very, very good. Okay, right. World map, how are we doing? We should be recovering. I don't know where this big enemy ship is. But we're going to be at full HP by the time that, by the time that it gets here. Right. Let's move you out here so you can get some vision, and then we'll move you in here. Hopefully, we're just going to be able to yoink you right past. We'll see, though. Okay. Not looking bad. Uh, mine's been completed. Marvelous. Where the heck is this enemy ship, honestly? Ooh. Treasure chest? I'll take that. I'll take that fight. Excellent. We're not gonna. We're not gonna find the colony quite yet. We're getting to that. Be pretty awkward if the ship decided to. Oh, we can literally see it's right over there. Uh, okay, well that's fine. Let's find the new colony here. Boom! And we've actually got a whole bunch of vision. Oh my lordy. Okay, well um, that's quite a strong vessel that I was not quite anticipating in strength. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Right. Okay. Uh, let's 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 do quests. Let's do quests. Okay. Uh, expand your territory. Excellent. Marvelous. Build an exploitation colony. Right, we need to unlock the corresponding technology. Well, what we need to do is we need to hit up these little science... Uh, these little science things. Can I build a... Build a tower here? It's gonna take me one turn to do. Let's do that, sure, why not? I mean, it's gonna cost 150... 150 bucks. What's the upkeep cost? 50 a turn? Oh, we've got the ability to, to deal with that. Anyway, uh, let's go back to our go back to our colony over here. We've got a brand new a brand new citizen, and we have the ability to use some more stuff. Um, more money, more production, more production maybe. I haven't built production in a while. Let's rebuild. Let's rebuild the sawmill. Sure. Okay. Um, what I'm really curious to see is what happens over here. This is. This is dangerous. Yeah, so you're terrifying. Let's fly away. <laughs> right, so what do we need to get? We need to get an exploitation colony. Right. Galley's victorious. We got 300 bucks. I really want to see what happens to this tower. Sure, let's go to the next turn. See what happens. Ooh. Are we under attack from somebody else? Looks that way. Right, so you clearly ended up taking, I mean, 
a quarter of the damage literally right there. Let's go over here. And in fact, I think we can just... So you're going to move here. You're going to get attacked again. You're going to move here. I think you're going to get attacked again. You're going to move here. You're going to get attacked again. You're going to move here. You're going to get attacked again. So I think regardless of what happens here, we can probably go ahead and quite comfortably decide to fight. Um, there's also another ship that's on its way in. Um, we can elect to build a tower here as well. Is that what we want to do? Well, until I see this ship, there's not much of a point of doing that. Right. Sawmills completed. How many population do I have? Zero. Zero population. Let's start building a tug, shall we? Yeah. It's going to take us three turns to build a tug. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty comfortable with that. Right. Let's see. This is quite a terrifying... This is quite a terrifying prospect. What about a galleon? What about a galleon? Build a galleon... First? Sure, build a galleon first. It's going to be two turns before we're able to get it done. Uh, yeah, the fact that I'm not engaging with the boat is perhaps a bit of a terrifying prospect. Right, so the tower, yeah, so the tower did do, did do damage. That's good. Um, we will be able to fight this here. That's fine. We also got more science. Let's think about what we want to do very, very carefully. Okay, maybe I don't want a galleon. Science-wise, there's a couple of things that we need to get. We need to get island size max. That's pretty important. Uh, in fact, we're going to need to get that literally in order to get the exploitation colony anyway. So, that's fine. Let's maybe go back to the tug. Sure, we'll go back to the tug. We'll get that. Now, we've got one person available. We've got housing spots that are not huge. But that's okay. The tug is going to be done. We're going to be able to expand the island. That should be fine. We need to get the, t the cartographer on that, uh, on that s slot, don't we? Yeah, so let's go, let's go here. Let's check out. In fact, actually, I don't think we need to do anything. I think we just need to wait. I think, I literally just think that we need to wait. So the ship has decided to go the bad route. I mean, I don't think there was ever going to be any prospect of victory for this ship. It was just going to get absolutely cream crackered by the tower. I'm actually really, really happy that I decided to build a second tower. That's pretty decent. Um, we are going to win. Chain's consort is going to end up going down. That's fine. It's a little bit awkward. I think we're just going to straight away head to the next turn. There we go. And the enemy's galleon is going to be destroyed. Marvelous. Cool. Very, very cool, in fact. Right. Tug has been completed. Galleon has been completed. Okay. Um, that's maybe a little bit too much money. It's maybe a little bit too much money. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, if I click on the tug, for example, I can add a shard, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to do... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it until... Oh, actually, what am I talking about? Of course I can do it. I've got... I got the... Uh, I got the bonus. No, I would like the... I would like a wetland, if possible. Yeah, so let's tug it over here. Yeah, let's do that. I do not want to pay for a galleon. Um, let me put it that way. I don't want to pay for it. I just don't. I really regret building this thing. I mean, I could destroy it, but it seems like an absolute waste of production. Maybe we could mothball it. Maybe we can mothball it. All right, do I have a citizen available? I do have a citizen available. Let's try and build extra production whilst we wait, right? Right, we should be able to build a sawmill in literally one turn. Okay, so that's going to get us a huge amount of extra production. We're going to get a new citizen in eight turns? Whatever. Whatever. You know what? We'll just we'll just suck up the negative 25 uh, coins for a wee while. Victory against the, the Chains Consort. Marvelous. It's pretty decent. Uh, the island has grown. Sawmill's been built. Galleon is victorious. move over here. We'll recoup a little bit of HP, and then we will go and fight the... Finally! We'll fight the uh, the science boy over there. Right. I don't want to live beyond my means. i tell you what I need to do. I'll build a paved square over here. Perfect. 
and that's going to actually utilize production. Right, do we still have... No, we've got nobody, nobody available at the moment, but I guess we can always destroy the sawmill if we need to. Just the production bonuses that we get, so nice. Look at that. I mean, each and every one of these sawmills, four production from the base, two from the adjacency bonus, that's up to six. I mean, that's pretty darn sick, if you ask me. It's pretty darn sick. I don't like that there's another attack happening. I don't like that at all. You know what? Let's let's go and engage. Let's go and engage. It's not a perfect fight, um, but I think we need to engage quickly. Yeah. Build a hospital here, maybe? Sure. I mean, we got plenty of cash, right? Let's let's not be let's not be stingy about it. Let's not be stingy about it, right? So, paved square is another turn away. That's fine. And we could get another tug, but there would be no point as we don't have as we don't have any any spare island size. I mean, it's just it's such a ridiculously large expense. Uh, okay, well, we're going to go to the next turn anyway, because we're still building the paved square, so that's marvelous. Okay, we're under attack from another from another angle as well. I think we're okay about that, to be honest. Right, the boat's gone back to to this side. We're still taking taking a big L in terms of uh, in terms of finances, but that's okay. Cartographer, yep, we're going to be missing a citizen. What's the time frame for getting another another citizen? Five turns. I legitimately think that it's worth trashing this building. I, I don't think there is... Yeah, there's no way that we can sort of, like, redistribute citizens around. Like, I'm not... You know, I'm not going crazy. Like, it's not a... It's not a thing that we can do. And it is worth, categorically, like, not wasting that... Not wasting that time. Right. It sounds a little silly, but, I mean... I would much rather have... I would much rather have something happening than, you know, just waiting... Otherwise, it's a case of wait for five turns, for goodness sake, before uh, before we're able to do anything. And I'm fine. I'm fine paying the temporary price. Okay, that's got 20 HP. The hospital is giving us a massive healing bonus. The tower is going to be rebuilt, which is marvelous. Um, and more importantly, the ship is going to be able to heal up slightly quicker as well. Uh, I think we should be okay. I think the tower should do its job. All right, go to the next turn. Okay. So, the tower does almost the entirety of its damage. Marvelous. We got that extra science. Let's get the exploitation colony. Training camp. That's going to allow us to build better better troops. Uh, I'm going to get the exploitation colony. That's that's important. Build exploitation com uh, colony. Export shipments to the capital island. Each shipment needs a wa one wharf to operate. Okay, well. We'll see what happens. Cartographer cool. Galleon is victorious. Very cool. Uh, we have science that we need, which is cool. But let me let me get the, the quest situation sorted. Right, we've done that quest situation. That's great. Production is unused slash underused, I suppose. The hospital, what's the hospital upkeep cost? Maybe there isn't one? Oh, well, that's that's marvelous. Big if true. Um, we'll send the we'll send the ship back Send the ship back to somewhere to somewhere else. I don't know where. Uh, I'm also losing a lot of money. I'm losing a lot of money. I, I need to find some way to fix that. I mean, conscripts would allow us if we if we got a training camp that would allow us to build conscripts. It's a it's a good it's a good concept. I, you know what? I'm gonna trash this galleon. I I don't I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh boom! Yeah, interesting. Plus one knowledge. Max island size? A warehouse? It's also the lighthouse. Max island size is cool. Trading colony? Storehouse defense colony? More island size. I like the idea of extra island size, to be honest. 
I like the idea of extra island size. Let's do that, and then let's build a tug. Because, I mean, that fulfills, like, two criteria, right? It allows... Uh, there we go. It allows us to actually do stuff with our production. Uh, right, so managed shipments, wharfs, active shipments. Yeah, we don't have we don't have nothing at the moment. Can we actually build wharfs here? General buildings. Yeah, we need oh we need to get the where we need to get the warehouse. Oh, that's a that's a bleeding bit of nuisance, isn't it? Right. Well, we're gonna need to go and uh, conquest some new science anyway. Conquest some new science. Right. Yeah, you're gonna end up getting destroyed before anything happens, which is marvelous, and you're going to end up getting destroyed before anything happening, uh, happens either. Right, let's go Galen. I mean, let's go out here, and we're going to go and see what we can do in terms of science. This is going to be a big old, a big old heal, which is marvelous. Quest has been completed. Beautiful. Uh, build an exploitation colony. Build a network of lighthouses. Yeah, well, I'm going to need the, the lighthouse tech first. 45 bucks each and every turn. Is it worth... Okay. I know this sounds absolutely insane. Maybe we need to get our... Maybe we need to get our boat back again. That is to say, maybe we build a galleon. What's in the production queue? Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's build a galleon after this. I actually think this is totally fine. Like, legitimately totally fine. Um, we got a citizen next turn, which is great, because that's going to allow us to do so much. Uh, we've got a tug coming in two turns, which is fine. Uh, we're going to endure another little little wave of nonsense in a second, but that's okay. And also, you know what I think I should do? I think I should build a hospital in... Yeah, I think I should build a hospital here. It only costs 600 bucks to actually to get it to get it up and running. That's fine. Right, let's go over here instead, because we know that the chain is down here. I'm terrified of that. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. No siree. I don't know what these little little things are. Anyway, uh, we're going to get a second galleon so we can go out this way because I think at the moment we just literally need need to go need to go hard on the um, on the research and the the exploration sort of stuff. Uh, we only have sixty we only have sixty turns to capitalize on the game. Chain is getting stronger. Tug has been built. Let's go and have a little look. Let's try and add some shards here. Uh, I mean, wetlands. Yep, we'll get that over there, and we'll put that in there like so, and we're going to get some farms over here. Again, we're going, we're going back into farms. We've got 14 housing slots, and that's, that's absolutely fine with me. Let's get another paved square over here. That's going to be the next thing on the list, and then once we've got an additional population, we're also going to queue up another, another mine. Now, I tried to build that on the mountaintop, but I don't know how the adjacency bonus works there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so research, research, research. That's what we're all in on right now. Okay, marvelous. Okay, we were victorious there. Cracking. So, island has been added. Brilliant. We're going to get farms over here, which is the priority now. We're going to shift the focus a little bit. Uh, oh, blast. Yeah, I forgot about that. New one in three turns. Am I going to wait three turns? I mean, uh, the issue is, the issue is, is that I really shouldn't have built this mine as quickly as I did. <laughs> I didn't really want to. <laughs> wait, where's my extra citizen gone? Oh, it's just, it was just, it was literally committed before, uh, it was committed when I built it. Okay, that's fine. Right, we're going to build three farms here. As good as, right, farm, literally done in one turn. So, we're going to recruit militiamen here, and we're going to do that twice. Says it's going to be done in four turns. I'm fine with that. The paved square can go right to the bottom. No issues with that at all. Yeah, I'm actually very, very happy with that. Right. That's good. Galleons constructed. Galleons victorious. Excellent. Right. I think two militias will be fine. We need to send the boat out here, but I was going to give it one last turn just to heal up anyway. 
Okay. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when we move out. Right. Okay, farm has been built. Excellent. So, how many turns until we get another citizen? Uh, one. One turn until we get another citizen. Well, I tell you what, let's skip to the turn. That's good. Regiment is ready. Regiment is ready. Let's get you undocked. I mean, it's a little bit tetchy that we're going to be going with only 20... With only 20 fights, but that's fine. I can, I can live with it. Um, we're going to endure that. We're going to endure the cash loss for a couple of turns. Don't exactly love the situation, don't get me wrong. But that's okay. Um, we're going to get some more sick adjacency bonuses from the farms. And that's going to allow us to get more population way quicker than we otherwise would be able to. Which I think is absolutely the right thing to do. Right. Oh, perfect. Let's, let's fight. Let's fight that science. Fight that science right now. Okay. Um, there's no there's no enemies that are deciding to attack me. I guess it's only on threat level one and threat level three that we will be that we'll be faced with baddies. That's fine, fine, fine with me. Right, farm has been built. We should have yeah. I mean, we got a lot of we got a lot a lot of food coming in now, which is marvelous. We've got plenty of plenty of housing space as well. Uh, I tell you what, can I get? could recruit another militiaman but that would put an even greater strain on my resources. We need to get the we need to get the warehouse up and running first which we'll be able to do next turn. Okay, fine. We'll we'll wait until the next turn. It's it's no big deal. Right. Victorious. Let's go and fight that. Excellent. New citizen, marvelous. Uh let's go and get the warehouse. Beautiful. And we should be able to build the warehouse. I presume we need to build the warehouse on the paved square. Must be built on the paved square. Yep, okay, that's fine. I mean, we're going to be building the paved square next turn anyway. Galleons victorious, we got that science. That is marvelous. Okay. Right, okay, so that is... So these little, these little things, that's where, the, that's where the HQ is. That's where the capital is. There's also... Oh, God. We could be attacked by their galleon here. I don't want to be. I don't want to even attack it. There's literally not time. Let's go back up to this little little area because it looks looks like it could be the other science. I presume there's two science uh, two science areas per, uh, per sector. Right. Warehouse. Boom. How many turns? Two turns. It's fine for... It's fine by my standards. We have no population, but we are going to get one population next turn. Okay, and that is going to get turned into a mine, which is going to stop me bleeding cash. Right. New citizen. Excellent. In fact... Yeah, is it, is it, is it a... Is it a case of just trying to... Each dock can sign a single deal. Uh, yeah, let's get... Let's get cash. I really hate the fact that I'm losing this much cash. It's really quite uh, disconcerting. Cool. Right. Warehouse, then mine. That's that's fine. Galleons, victorious. Excellent. Let's move out here and hope that it's science. It's science. Let's fight it out. Yeah, that's a very, very weak galleon over there. I'm, I think that's fine. I think that's fine, though. I think that's absolutely fine. There's another really, really weak galleon over there. I don't think that's the priority for me. I think the priority literally is science. Beeline for science, because there's so much more that we can get sorted uh, by getting science done, as opposed to conquest. <sighs> you know, love not, love not war, or something like that. Uh, cool. Right, warehouse has officially been built. Adds one wharf uh, for each adjacent tile. Cool. Okay, so we can get... What are we getting? We're getting four food and 20 cash? I mean, that ain't bad at all. It Does it take, does it take time literally like a shipment? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, I see. Build a mine. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, we can build a mine literally based on... Oh, that's cool. Whereas we can only get... I guess, you know, the tower and the hospitals and, and whatnot. So, um, build a farm, build a mine. 
It's only going to get us 20 gold, and it's going to cost us 300 apiece. Is a farm better? It's literally farms or mines, I guess, unless I wanted to trash the, trash the other stuff. Although it looks like we get, it looks like we get just from the island, uh, the island as is basic. Build a mine. I don't want to go bankrupt. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what will happen if we go bankrupt. So let's not chance it. Okay, cool. Right, next turn. Okay, hopefully that's the last time that we're going to have to endure negative 45 cash. Looks that way. The mine is officially completed and we're getting those pretty sweet adjacency bonuses, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to queue up another paved square over here. How many turns until we get another population? One population next turn. Marvelous. Quest-wise, network of lighthouses. We can properly get a lighthouse now, which is good. Do I want to do anything else? A trading colony? I really like the idea of a trading colony. Defense colony? That would probably be useful in the sector next to the next to the chain. Headquarters, that's not available. I think lighthouses, right? Lighthouses has to be lighthouses because we need to network of lighthouses. How much are they going to cost? I would wager that I will not have enough money to build them. Build a lighthouse? Oh, maybe I will. So we can actually build lighthouses everywhere. Okay. Can't. We can only build, literally only build one. That's fine. Also, we can now see the route between, between the two areas. That's pretty cool. 45 gold a turn. I mean, that's, that's a lot, but I would much rather, much rather have more. Okay, so let's go back to, let's go back to our base. And then maybe we'll see if we can try and yoink it down here. There we go. We're going to heal up for like a turn or two. We're going to go, go. Go through here, around here, etc. Right, we're also going to build a lighthouse. When it says build a network of lighthouses. By connecting another archipelago to your capital island. Oh, I see. Right, I see what you mean. So you want me to go here, 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 here. So something like that, right. So we need to get like a few. Right. Well, um, this calls for cash then, doesn't it? This calls for cash. Let's do it. Let's do let's do cash. Now we could probably, if we really, really tried. Could probably if we really, really tried. Let's prioritize that. Uh does it cost? Does it cost me to maintain paved squares? I don't think it does. I'm not sure. Science. Let's have a little look. What can we get in science? The science department. Building health, ships movement. I think maybe getting ships movement is probably the best here. The trading colony, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to explore. I think I'll just take the movement bonus, because that's pretty good, like, regardless. Move out here, and uh, actually, that was a stupid thing to do, because we're too weak to fight anyway, so we should probably just move back into, into protection. But that's fine. Right. There we go. In fact, we can get right back into here, and we can heal up. Heal up from yonder, which is marvelous. Right, okay, next you're going to go over here, video game, and then you're going to go down there, like right now. Okay, so lighthouses, we need we need way more. We should be able to build, basically, by my very, very rough calculations, uh, about one a turn. The mine is finished being built. That's excellent. Am I going to... Maybe I just... Maybe I literally just ditch this... Do I ditch this galleon? I think maybe I ditch the galleon. Yeah. I hope Whoa, wow, that's that was explodey. I hope the I hope the soldiers got off before <laughs> before that happened. Anyway, uh, the reason that I'm doing that is because, as I say, we've got 60 turns. We're on turn 52. And we need to build lighthouses. We can only build one, maybe two a turn if we're lucky. Right, paved square has been built. Excellent. Do I want to rebuild my galleon? Maybe. No, I'm not. I'm not. I've, we've gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, we don't even have the science necessary to do... Uh, to do anything else. We'll build another farm, maybe? One population next turn. That's going to be a good start. That's going to be that fulfilled. 
so as long as we're able to get yeah, there's not even there's not there's not even anything else there's not even anything else that we can throw our production points into. I suppose we could have built an extra tug, but that seems you know hardly worth it. Right, quest completed. Yoink! Absolutely fantastic. That's brilliant. And then network of lighthouses. We should be able to get that built. So we got lighthouse here, lighthouse here, lighthouse here, lighthouse here, lighthouse here, and we've also got a lighthouse in the middle, obviously. Cool. Right, let's also see if we can try nab. Okay. Yeah, that extra ship movement. Holy cow, that's good. Build a mine here. Build a farm here. Can't build another farm there, but I'd love to. I'd really, really like to. Right. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Ah, we can't recruit militiamen. I would, I would like to do that. I would like to do that. We also, in fact, actually, what am I talking about? We've got the opportunity to get more population, so... Why don't we get down another farm? It'll probably be our last building, I would imagine. Ah, maybe not our last building. Maybe our penultimate building. It's pretty good. Got a lot of production. 20 seems to be the sweet spot for sure. Right, quest has been completed. Boom, we got the network of lighthouses. Build a trading colony. I think it's very, very unlikely that we're able to get another trading colony. But we can try. We can try. Um, sure, we'll build a settler ship. Take a few turns. I'm gonna just try and. I mean, holy cow! Look at this! Look at the network of lighthouses. Oh my god! We're gonna be able to get. Look at how far we're able to go. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. We might even be able to get. We could have probably got further if I wasn't. You know, daft. Build a farm there. Cool. This is nice. This is very, very nice. I like this a lot. Okay, so we got more lighthouses. That's good. We know that the enemy is up here. Let's get all the way over to here for now. That's fine. We got a new citizen. Hardly seems even worth noting, to be honest. But I guess we'll get another mine. Sure. Uh, we need to do... We need to do, like, five turns of combat. Right, no, like, six turns of combat in, like, four turns. So, I would strongly suspect that the... Oh. That's defeat. Well, that's less than ideal. Well, uh, that's a problem, I would, I would suggest. I would suggest that is a strong problem. I'm probably not going to engage when I don't have the... Uh, ooh, when I don't have all of the facts. Right, settlership has been built. You know, we should really bring this back to here and then recruits, recruit militiamen. Yeah, I mean, I, there's quite literally no point, but... It's fine. Right, so the settler ship has been, has been built. We can't find a colony unless it's over here. Oh my goodness. Cha Chains Consor's Lair. Chains Consor's... Chain, Chains Corsair. Goodness gracious me. And Chain Corsair's Lair. Oh my lordy. I think there are enemies, but I don't think there are any other enemies. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. There is... No chance that we're going to be able to get a trading colony. Uh, Science-wise, we don't even have the required components in order to get a trading colony. Uh, it would probably be better if we were able to get some better troops. So getting the getting the barracks or getting the the training uh, the training camp also seems pretty important by that metric. Uh, but all in all, I don't think that we can be too displeased with how things are going. Those lighthouses, though, absolutely phenomenal. And once the ball starts rolling, the ball really, really, really starts rolling. Uh, that's turn 60, which I think is when we're going to get uh, going to get cream crackers. Um, and we're going to get kicked out. But holy cow, holy cow, what a tremendously, tremendously, tremendously interesting concept. Um, very, very good. Uh, clearly, obviously, this is only the demo. This is only the first stage of production. And the game, the game name, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's, it's not great. It's not great. 
But the concept and the gameplay is fantastic. Thoroughly, 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 thoroughly uh, enjoyable. Uh, that It's brilliant. It's really, really, really good fun. Uh, and it works surprisingly well, and the concept is surprisingly interesting. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to wrap this one up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Please do indeed consider checking out the Patreon if you're interested uh, in helping make videos like this possible. So you can see more stuff. There's a whole bunch of extra exclusive content over on the Patreon. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, but for now and for me, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.